back with another video and before I start this video I want to tell you about this really cool website called epic and you can read these really cool books on there there is books that you can read yourself there is books that that, that is reading to you and there's also audiobooks on there i think that is a really cool website that you can read on like if you don't like oh there's also videos on there like learning videos there's actually videos on there about minecraft there's videos on there like about like i watched a video that's talking about orcas um i watched like read these really cool videos just like these arts and crafts videos there's other videos and stuff like that i think it's really cool so i would i would recommend you to check that out and i will be right back so i'm back you guys and the thing that i was doing this video on is about orcas and before I start, there's going to be a sad part in it that is sad, but then it's going to get happier because the way how you can help orcas is stop polluting the oceans. So I think you should stop polluting the oceans, like do the three R's, which is reduce, reuse, and recycle. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, so I'm back and I will show you guys this picture. I'm going to read this side so you don't have to read anything that where you see words on it. You don't have to read it because you know I'm going to read it for you. So that's the picture. And then it's called, this part is called Family Life. An orca stays with his family its whole life. That's a long time. And orcas, oh, you know, I'm not going to spoil it because it's going to tell you. It becomes an adult when it's about 10 years old. What? That is young. A young female learns how to care for its for calves by watching older mothers. Finally, when she is about 15 years old, she is ready to have a calf of her own. 15 that is very young this is how they hunt this is a diagram about how they hunt so i will show you this picture this is the adult orca this is the calf that's the seal and that is the seal up there no that's the wave that is a wave like they make like this wave with their tails like, they splash their tail up and down in the water so that the, it goes on the shore for the seals. Or anything that's on land. Like, maybe it could be birds or something. And then they just think that it's like a regular wave going on the shore or whatnot. Then the orcas, then when they fall into the water, the orcas swim up and eat and, and eat them. Because they need a snack. They're hungry. And besides, there's a lot of seals and birds in the world. In the world, So it's not doing anything but to keep the ecosystem balanced. I mean, I know it's a little bit sad for the animals to get eaten. eaten but if there's too many of them, then the ecosystem will be unbalanced. So, yeah. You don't want it to be too many of those animals. So I'm gonna read this now. Hunting skills. The mother orca and the and old the mother orca and older family members teach a calf how to hunt. Sometimes they hunt as as a team. In cold oceans in cold o oceans seals rest on the Floating chunks of ice. The orcas swim toward the ice to make a big wave. The wave washes the seal into the water so the orca, so, so the orcas, sorry, the orcas <laughs> can catch it. This is another picture. 
See, that is, this is a seal. Okay, that's a seal. And this, that, those are, these are, oh, oops. These, oh, sorry, you guys. These are orcas. I was trying to zoom in really close so that you can see them. But then, like you already saw, this is the next page that I was supposed to be reading. Um, orcas eat seals, sea lions, dolphins, and other types of whales. They also eat sharks, bigger than them, other fish, sea turtles, and seabirds. An orca calf may even begin to eat some fish when it is about one years old. Like I told you, I'm getting this information from some books, some orca books that I found on Epic so basically that is today's sponsor i don't know i don't know what that is i just heard other people say that on their video so yes <laughs> showing you oops sorry this is the orca family the reflection from the windows shining on us so the this is the orca family that's the orca calf right there Yeah, <laughs> sorry, I was just making sure. And this is the mother orca right there. An orca family. An orca... An orca calf lives with its mother in a family group. The group might include the calf's older brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, and grandmother. That is a lot. That is a lot of family members in one like in one space i mean like in one family like normally like if you have grandparents or aunties or uncles or something they live in a different house but this or they live in a different if you're an orca they would live in a different pod but this orca the but orcas families actually live together like imagine all of your family, like your whole entire family, just just like being together in this house for the rest of your lives. <laughs> and you never left that house for the rest of your lives. You will be like, oh, okay. This is strange, but okay. <laughs> but you're an orca, so it's not strange because that's instincts. Anyway. So, yes. A cow's father is a member of a different family group. He doesn't live with the cow to help take care to help care for it, except for your dad. <laughs> this picture is adorable. Hold on. Okay. That's the mother calf. I mean, that is the uh, that is the mother orca and that is the calf. <laughs> this is the calf, this is the mother. Up there. I can't point to it completely with my finger, but up there. One thing also I think I should tell you is that the patterns on Orca's backs, I think they have, like, their own unique pattern, like a fingerprint. Like, let's say your fingerprint. I don't think you can see my fingerprint, but everybody has a different fingerprint. They have a different handprint. They have a different... You know, they have different DNA. You know, <laughs> they have different interests. Like, if everybody was the same, I think that would be... If, even if every animal was, like, like, had the same thoughts, the same interests, and stuff like that, I think that would be kind of, like... I think that would be dull because, it's like, okay, this is strange. Everybody likes the same thing I like, and this is weird. So, like, am I right? An orca drinks milk from its mother's body until it is two or three years old. The mother and the calf don't stop moving when it is feeding time. Together, they move slowly through the water while the calf feeds. 
this is the newborn calf right there and that is the mother that is the mother again and that is the calf a calf is born like other mammals orcas give birth to live babies a mother orca gives birth to her calf underwater as soon as the baby orca leaves leaves its mother's body it begins to swim the the mother and the calf swim to the water surface. Then the little orca uses its blowhole to take its first breath of air. This is from another book on epic. What is your favorite thing about orcas? This is the end of the book. I'm reading from the end of the book to the beginning of the book somewhat. I love these picture books that I read. I think they have some really good information. But I'm going to show you the picture now. <clears throat> Members of the same part use similar complex calls. This is how they recognize each other. Each other. Calves learn these calls from their mothers and their and their orcas in the same in, no, in the pod. Mothers are very protective of their calves. Younger females often help take care of the calves. Oh, hang on. Let me show you this picture. Sorry. Orcas use many different vocal vocalizations. Like, if you like, let's say that you have a cat and it's purring, that's a vocal. A vocalization. Sorry, it's kind of hard for me to say it. To communicate underwater. They use whistles and clicks as well as pulsed calls. Like, let's say, like, you have, like, this food processor or blender or any type of thing that says pulse on it. It's, like, that means, like, it stops and starts, like, over and over again. By the way, these are just definitions of, like... These words on here, like, if, just in case, if you didn't know it, I'm just letting you know. They use these sounds for navigation and also to find food. They, they most often use vocalizations to socialize. Navigation is like, let's say that you have, like, like you don't know, like, you're, um, like, you're going somewhere, you don't know where you're going, you need a GPS, which is helping you navigate where you're going. So that's what navigation is. And socialization, you probably already know what that, you probably heard this word from somewhere. That's like friends, like you are able to socialize, let's just say. Like you are able to have a whole lot of friends. And you're like outgoing. You're not like shy. You're not shy. Like that's the op that's the opposite of shy, and timid. Timid means like the same thing as shy, nervous, stuff like that. So I'm just saying some words that you may or may not didn't know to add to your vocabulary. So this is the picture of the orcas. I just read that over there, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, this is a diagram of the killer whale features, or orcas, as some people might prefer to call them. This is from a different book, I think. I don't know for sure. I don't know. I don't remember. But so, if you did not know, there was actual, there's actually a saddle piece on the... Killer whales or orcas. Right here. Like, I did not know about that. And I also did not know that orcas had ears, which is right here, that white piece right there. They, you, you probably already know about the flippers, the eyes, the uh, dorsal fin, the tail. Everything else. And this is where it gets sad. 
there is not as much um dog um not dolphins orcas in the world guys don't freak out but that is an orca that's not its mouth it got hurt I guess it scraped its side or something. It was weak and it got it scraped its side on the shore. But you guys don't be sad because there's many ways that you can help. Um, that you can help the orcas like stop polluting, reduce, reuse, and recycle. Um, maybe like there's not. I mean, you may think that there's not that much that you can do, but there is a lot that you can do as a child to help the earth like i actually i remember i was younger and i wanted to like i wanted to i forgot i wanted to do something and then i started doing that no i i was um i wanted to smile and be happy and be like talkative that means like you're talking a lot or like you want to talk and stuff like that. I wanted to be happy and I wanted to smile and I wanted to bring everybody else cheer. And that's what happened. And then everywhere I went, everybody was smiling and they were happy. And I spread it happiness and joyfulness. So you can do that too and you can help the world stop polluting. I mean, it starts with the small thing. It starts with it starts with this small person, this one little person or this one little child, and then it grows and grows and grows until the whole world does it. So you can help orcas and other sea life by just starting to clean up your neighborhood. Maybe start like taking samples of the water, making sure that the water is clean enough for animals to live in. You know. Like, learn about orcas and, oh, just learning about sea creatures and animals and just anything in general. You're helping them just by doing that. And even if you want to be like a zookeeper or something like that, that's cool too because you're also helping the animals because they're in the zoo because to um you can learn about them also and to protect them. So... That is why it is good to um, to learn about these sea creatures or any type of animal that you really like. That's cool. So I just wanted you to know that. And that is the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you please make a difference in the world. Make a difference in the world and make the world better a better place for animals to live and for people to live. I will see you next time on one of my videos. And so, yeah, I'll see you later. Bye. Oh, by the way, please subscribe to my channel and put a thumbs up. And I hope you like my video. Bye.